Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the best in-game settings. In my personal opinion, I've received several requests that you want to see my in-game settings. So I'm going to show them to you. But again, these are my favorite settings. So <laughs> it can differ based on an individual, but these are my favorites. So let's get right into it. We're going to start with the controls. Very first thing on the top right in the control section, you have the customized interface. I'm going to click on that. And the first thing you're going to see is the interface elements. Now, this is my personal one. This is how I personally like it. I like it this way. Again, this is this is all based on how you like it. So it's your specific preference. But you can move these guys around. As you can see on the right hand side, you can move your icons around. You have the opacity. I have the opacity pretty low on most of them, except on this one on the skills, because I want to see when it's lit up and it's available. But every other one, I have it very, very low, the lowest possible. The reason for that is because when I make my videos, I don't want those obstructions coming up. <laughs> and I've been playing this game so long. And I've had the same settings so long that I pretty much have memorized. My fingers have memorized exactly where to click. So it's completely up to you. I like to move them around on the left hand side. One unique thing is you can move this cursor. So what this is, I'm not going to move around because this is the way I like it. <laughs> and I don't want to mess with it. But this, what it is, is your left thumb. Again, play with two. I play with two fingers where you place your left thumb. This allows you to have better. It just depends on the size of your phone, but you can move that around depending on where you want it. This is my customized interface. This is how I personally like it. It's completely up to you, but I like it this way. Moving back into here, my sensitivity, as you can see the bar right there, I have it set specifically that way. I like the sensitivity. I like to move around left to right a lot, but there is a unique one. If you scroll down, I'm going to skip a little bit down and I want you to see that one that's called new camera control. I just turned it off and I'm going to turn it back on. I have it on. What it does is that it allows the sensitivity to be a lot higher. If I had that turned off, then my sensitivity will be all the way to the max and even all the way up to the very max. I still don't like it. I feel like it's it, it's not fast enough. So I had to turn the new camera control on. So the sensitivity is a much more greater and more sensitive. And now allowing it to put right there will be great. Very first one, auto shoot. It, it depends on the weapon. Some people like to play with the auto shoot off. I like it on. It allows me to shoot at and shoot the enemies a lot faster. It depends on you. But if you're using a weapon like the Jordan, then yes, you want to turn the auto aim off the auto shoot. I'm sorry, because you want to shoot them right away. However you want to or shoot at the enemy before they arrive. You want to shoot the walls, the grounds, wherever you are. So you want to turn it off. Same thing with the PSC. But there are those individuals that like to have it off completely. I like to have it on. It makes my gameplay a little bit easier. Uh, one tap aim allows you to tap in one tap. The aim help. What that does is it allows the, the aiming kind of helps you centralize towards the enemy. It can be good in most cases. I would say 95% of the time. But that extra 5% if there's two enemies right next to each other. Sometimes they can get a little bit confused. <laughs> but I like it on. It allows you to, you know, be able to kill the enemy a little bit faster. The aiming acceleration is the screen. How quickly it goes. It's not how quickly the gun aims. Because remember, there's a statistic for that. When you're looking at sniper rifles or those type of weapons. This one is more of the actual screen delay. Uh, how quickly it accelerates into that. I have and you can see all the rest right there. I don't want to go too deep into every single one of those there because, you know, this video will be 20 minutes long. So <laughs> I'm sure you know what most of these mean anyways. And if you don't leave me a comment down down below this video and I will respond to and let you know what each one of those means. I'm going to move on to the game tab. Now, it depends on which game you're uh, which kind of phone you're using. Right now, I'm displaying this on an iPhone. There's only one server, the IEU. If you're playing on an Android, you have four servers. You have North America, you have South South America. You also have the Europe and then you have the Asia server right now. Again, because I'm, I'm showing that making this video on the iPhone, I only have the IEU server. As you move through different servers, if you do move servers, you will lose your progress and you're going to start brand new in another uh, in another server. Now, let me define lose your progress. If you have the progress saved in your gameplay or your game store, then it'll be stored right there. But once you get to the new server, you're going to start fresh clean and you can save your, your progress there and you can come back to your server. But you cannot carry your profile across different servers who can invite you into squad. This is up to you. I obviously have it as all so that anybody can invite me into squad. But if your individual say I only want to pay my friends then you can change that to your friends. Or if your individual say I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. I do not want to play with nobody. You can change it to nobody, <laughs> but I'm going to leave it as all uh, camera shakes upon damage. When you're taking damage, the camera shakes a little bit for to make it a little bit more realistic. I have it set slightly. You don't want to have that too high because then your camera shakes and it's going to throw you out of whack. You might lose focus scope power. This is how much zoom you want on your scope. It is completely up to you. I like it right in the middle. I don't want too much zoom. 
it's up to you but this one i like it in the middle i recommend it that way feel the view is also that screen how much focus the actual view on your camera is some people have it very high that's the stat i have right there as for purchase and confirmation on battle these ones right here i'll let you just see them i will not explain them uh it's completely up to you how you want to have it i have it this way this is the way that i like it so it's up to you now let's move on to the graphics we have uh, you know what? I think I skipped this one over here. I apologize. Let me come back to it. it. We also, right below the customized interface, you have the customized sensitivity. I suggest you leave this the way it is. Don't mess with it. I don't. I like it the way it is, but you can move around as you wish. Your overall sensitivity, then you can move the sensitivity from the hip. This is where you're shooting without aiming. Other sights, sniper sights, and throwing a grenade to combat skill, how much sensitivity you want from there. I like it the way it is. I recommend that you leave it, but you can customize it if you wish. I left it the way it was. As we move on to the graphics, depending on your phone, okay? This is just depending on your phone and on your internet, of course. Um, I'll share about my internet. I play with 500 megabytes per second. Right now, I am using an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and when I'm playing on Android, I'm playing on a Galaxy S21 Ultra. So I can play with graphics and quality, the quality and the graphics as high. And I like it that way because it allows you to see everything. But do not do that if your phone is outdated or you're using an older phone. For example, if you're using a phone that is older than an iPhone 12, you should probably not be uh, anything higher than average. You should be an average and do not use high because you're gonna get a lot of lag. Same thing with the quality in the menu. Don't do that. And if you're on an Android, I would say it, it can be complicated, but you have, if you have anything less than a Galaxy S20, you probably shouldn't be a, a, anywhere in average. You should probably, even average is a little risky because, and I'm not talking bad about Android, <laughs> but the iPhone seems to have a better quality and a better control when it comes to this stuff. So it's a little bit different. The Galaxy struggles a little bit. I play on my S21. I do play with high, but even then sometimes I do get a little bit of lag and it's not the internet at this point. It is the capacity of the phone. But if you clear your phone memory, your cache, then it allows you to have a little bit better. But that's completely up to your phone. I recommend that you have it on average. I have it on high specifically because I want the videos to look good for you guys. When I record my videos and I edit them, I want it to look in very as best quality possible. So I recommend that high, but I recommend that you personally, you leave it on average. And if you have an older phone, you probably want to stick with low. You never want to do very low because you're going to get lag. I don't recommend it. I would recommend either average or low. Test with it as you wish. Um, I have the other settings off as well down at the bottom because again, I don't want it to come up on the video for you guys. I want it to look clean and crisp. So <laughs> I have it turned off. Uh, sounds, uh, it's just up to you. You know, it's completely up to you. I turned everything off right now so I can record. Usually my sound is higher and my music volume is higher. Uh, it, but I turned everything off, uh, you know, because I'm recording this video for you. Uh, the language, uh, this one's pretty self-explanatory, right? You have all the languages available. Uh, there's some individuals that I've been asking for more. Uh, the Arabic language I did hear is coming soon. So stay tuned if you are, if you speak Arabic, you've been requesting it for a while. We've, there's been a lot of suggestions about it. It is coming soon. So just be patient and that'll come up pretty soon. But of course I have it and, uh, <laughs> in the English language. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. I hope this helps you. Again, this is my personal settings. This is what I believe you should be using if you're using a phone similar to mine. The only difference, again, would be on the actual quality. Everything else, I like it this way. I have the same exact settings in my Galaxy S21 when I'm playing on the Android server. I recommend that you have it this way. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, make sure you drop us a like. Make sure you, make sure you subscribe and you hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of our upcoming videos. We have a lot of great videos coming for around the corner. We'll see you in the next one.